the human mind. 600 miles of synaptic fiber, five and a half ounces of cranial fluid, 1,500 grams of complex neural matter, a three-pound pile of dreams. But I'll tell you what it really is. It is the ultimate battlefield and the ultimate weapon. The wars of this modern age, the psychic age, are all fought somewhere between these damp, curvaceous undulations. From this day forward, you are all psychic soldiers, paranormal paratroopers, mental marines who are about to ship out on the adventure of their lives. This is our beachhead, and this is your landing craft. You shall engage the enemy in his own mentality. You shall chase his dreams. You shall fight his demons. You shall live his nightmares. And those of you who fight well, you will find yourselves on the path to becoming international secret agents. In other words, psychonauts. The rest of you will die. <laughs> Oh, Maury. Children, you are not going to die. Well, if you're not a psychonaut, then you might as well be dead. They told me this was a summer camp. Ah, <laughs> oh, Dogen. Don't worry about old Coach Oleander. I've been coming here for years, and trust me, nothing ever happens. Yeah, Dogen. Lily's right. You don't got nothing to worry about. Except for that giant monster in the lake I was telling you about. Bobby Zilch! I told you to stop scaring people with that ridiculous old legend. I don't want the kids to be afraid to go out at night and walk alone on the perfectly safe paths of Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp. And we don't want to scare our special guests. Superstar Psychonaut Sasha Nine and Mia Vodello. Whoa! Light Monster! Formation. It's resisting. Quick, bring it over here. Is it? It's just a little boy. What's your name, darling? I'll find out. Kid, get in! Ugh. My name starts with a D. Is Rasputin. Mm. But everybody calls me Raz. Please don't kill us, Lake Monster! Compelling. Armored like a tank! Sorry I'm late. I don't want to disrupt your briefing, Agent Oleander. Agents 9, Vodello, please, continue. Where do you think you're going? You've broken into a highly classified remote government trading facility. I know. Isn't it great? Listen. Why don't I just sit over here quietly with my fellow psychedets? Hey, how's it going? I like your hat. We need to have this young man taken from here immediately. I'll call his parents. What? But don't you train psychonauts here? Yes, darling, but... To soar across the astral plane. To wage psychic warfare against the enemies of free thought. That is what I wrote on the front of the pamphlet. Those words are why I'm here, Coach Oleander. Do you remember what you wrote on the inside of that pamphlet? You were born with a special gift. But the people around you treat it like a curse. Your mother is afraid of you. And your father looks at you with shame in his eyes. Come to Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp and you can show them all. Back home, your powers make you a loner, an outcast, a circus freak. But in this dojo, 
in this psychic dojo. They make you a hero. Get that soldier a bunk! Now, darling, you can stay here for a few days until your parents come for you, but we can't let you participate in any paranormal training without your parents' consent. I'm sorry. Wowie, you're so lucky. You get to go home soon. Home? Back there, I was just like you were, Dogen. Punished by my own family for having powers I never asked for. But here, I have a chance to be something, to make a difference. They may come for me, Dogen, but they'll be looking for Raz, the boy. What they're going to find, what they don't expect, is Raz, the Psychonaut. And, and, and then you'll make their heads explode? No. Do you do that? No. Well, once, kind of. But... Now I wear this special hat. Wanna try it on? No, no, no. But he has mental defenses like I've never seen in someone so young. If I could just get him in my lab for some experiments, I'm sure he could withstand more than the others. That kid's one in a million, Nine. But I'm not gonna let you turn him into one of your guinea pigs. I've got big plans for that mind. Hold it right there, son! Now just what in the Sam Hill do you think you're doing in there? I was just looking for a way out. Oh. Sorry about that. Couldn't think you'd get to the end so fast. Dang, I didn't think you'd get to the end at all. You surprised me out there, kid. Here, you've earned this. Your first Psychonaut Merit Badge. But I'm always glad to see a soldier come back from the field alive. Now, if you'll excuse me, I gotta go back in. I left some good men back there. Way to make us look bad in there. You are in trouble now. Bobby Zilch ain't happy. You better watch yourself, Goggolicious. What's that, hair boy? You want a piece of me? Hey, Brainiacs, settle down. Why? You worried I'm gonna hurt your boyfriend? No, because Sasha Nine is standing right behind you. Your performance, young cadet, was outstanding. I'd like you to report to my lab for some advanced training. Ooh, Raz the Spaz is gonna be in a special class. Benny, remind me to give him a special beating later, okay? These tests are unauthorized, though, so I can't actually ask you to come. But if you happen to drop in, well, what could I do? Let me just give you this. Remember, your talent will always set you apart, Rasputin. Sometimes isolation is a good thing. It can lead to important discoveries. Wait! I don't even know what your lab is! Is this some kind of test? Sometimes isolation is a good thing. It can lead to important discoveries. And now I'm hearing things. Great. Was that you? Looking at me? Maybe you should try getting over yourself? There were a lot of other people on that stage besides you. No, just now. In the woods. Hmm, <laughs> no. It must have been something else. You don't smell like pond scum. Nice. 
You should write greeting cards. There was some sort of shadowy being out there. Lurking. Watching. I know of only one creature who fits that description. It likes to hide in dark places, silently watching unsuspecting children from a distance. Really? Who? You, tree sitter! <laughs> Hmm. That should not have happened. We need to try that again. Oh. I don't think I need to be in the tumbler with the glowy eye guys anymore. Suit yourself. You know, in many tribal societies, learning to defeat the monsters you see in your dreams is considered a rite of passage. I can train you to fight. Come see me when you're ready. Hey, Lily. Going for the advanced training? What's the rush? Are you kidding? I only have a few days to become a psychonaut or I lose my shot forever. Look, Raz, I hate to burst your bubble, but the psychonauts are not what they used to be. Times have changed. The world just doesn't need us anymore. The world does too need psychonauts. Right here at this very camp, in fact. I think there are several fishy things that need psychic investigating. You are so immature. And cute. When are you gonna just shut up and kiss me? Shut up and do what? Oh, I didn't know you could. Uh, I gotta go. Bye. So embarrassing. Dogen, are you okay? I had the strangest machine-induced dream about you. TV? Well, first of all, Sasha Nine invited me down to a secret lab, and... TV? He's completely brainless. The dream was true. Dogen, don't worry. I know where your brains are. They're in... Like this crazy dream thorn bush straight jacket tower place. Aggie sack. You go to the TV lounge. I'm on the case. I just need a little more advanced training to prepare. Lily! Oh, hey Raz. Listen, I made you something. It's kind of stupid, but. They stole Dogen's brains! No, he's just like that. I had a nightmare where this mad scientist guy said he was going to take them out, and... Was it a creepy-looking freak with a shower cap and a stainless steel three-pronged claw? Hey, that's my nightmare. So it's not just me. But how? And why all the meat? I don't know. But I think it's time I find out where this is coming from. Let's rendezvous tonight at the old boathouse for debriefing. This is so cool! Yeah! It feels like that time in True Psychic Tales 314 where... Shut up! Bobby! Uh-oh. Look, I can explain. TV. Jeez, it sounds like you caught a bad cold. Maybe. But listen, I traced the psychic interference back to Coach Oleander's radio. He's been broadcasting his insane plot all over camp in his sleep. So he's really kidnapping children and stealing their brains to make weapons. Yes. Isn't that great? What? How is that great? Because this is an honest-to-goodness psychic emergency! And Sasha's not here. He left on some official psychonauts business. Mia left a note saying the same thing! Lily, a deranged man-man is building an army of psychic death tanks to take over the world. And there's no one who can stop him, except for you and me! Oh my god! Let's make out! Uh, what? Sorry! I'm just so excited. Since you showed up, Raz, things are so much more exciting. Sinister death plots, mad scientists, hideous monsters. Make out? How long have I ignored what this camp had to offer? Everything's new to me now, thanks to you. I mean, look at this flower. You mean, like, kiss? How many years have I been coming here and I've never even noticed a cool flower like this before? 
Hulking lungfish, you know, you really aren't as hideous as people say. You may call me now by my true name, Rasputin. The name given to me by my people. And what name is that, noble lake creature? Linda. What a magical lady. Is he really gone? Hello? Hello? Anyone else in here? Ha! We did it, Raz! I'm all me again. One person. Not French. Get me out of this dang jacket so I can go strangle me an orderly. Hey, good thinking, Fred. That sure would save me a lot of work. Yep! Right after I take a nap. Yes! Uh, what? Nap? <sighs> War is hell, Rasputin. And I'm sleepy. Uh, I'll take care of Crispin for you, just as soon as I... I, uh... Oh, man. What you painting there? That is my patron, my psychiatrist, my warden. Looks like Dr. Lobato to me. Is he the one who chained you up? The doctor won't let me go until I complete my treatment. So why don't you just finish the painting and go home? Why don't I just... <laughs> wow! See? Sometimes you just have to... Huh. You painted a bullfight over the doctor's face. Why a bullfight? Huh? Huh, Edgar, why do you... Every time! Every time it is the same! The matador! The bull! How I despise you both! But my hands won't let you go. Ah! That is why I am here, chained in more ways than you can see. A prisoner of art. A prisoner of art. Well, uh, I'm gonna go downstairs. You good? I'm good. Taking her up yourself this time, eh, Doctor? Less work for me. Inmate Look. Whitehead. Chief Orderly Bonaparte. You're... You're armed. <laughs> worthless! These brains are worthless, Shigo. <laughs> Just like the one in your head. No, no, no. They're nice. They're, they're nice brains, Dr. Lobato. Really? They're too nice. They won't fight. I need killers. I need angry brains. I squeeze them. I poke them. I twist them. What do I have to do to make them fight? Maybe I should try my drill. I'm not gonna bring you any more brains if you're gonna be so mean to them! No matter what I do? No, no matter... what? Not even if I... No, don't! Oh, not even if I cook no, no, you a little... No, doctor, no! A little turtle soup? Please, Dr. Lobato, no! Hmm. 
a nice hot turtle soup. Mm -hmm. Nothing better on a cold night like this than some boiling hot soup. You leave Mr. Pokey alone! Oh, okay. <laughs> you sure? No! I mean, yes! <laughs> all right, all right. Oh, why don't I just go ahead and heat you up a cup? It's made of turtles! Turtles that you love! Isn't that right, Mr. Pokey Love? Okay, okay. Well, maybe I'll just make some for myself. Bring me a good brain, Shigo! Or Mr. Pokey Love becomes Mr. Smoky Love! <laughs> Smokey loaf. <laughs> ah! When you're a dentist, you have to learn to have a sense of humor, you know. It helps to calm the patients down. That's right, baby. Daddy's here. Everything's gonna be all right. Now, here's what we're gonna do. Oleander's gonna burn. At least he never got inside your brain. It's gonna take me weeks to get my rhythm back. Rasputin, you have surprised us yet again. I cannot thank you enough for what you've done. Hey, hey, all in a day's work for a psychonaut. <laughs> well, Psy Cadet, you mean. Hey, the psychonauts should be so lucky to get someone like Raz. The brain he's got in there is... one in a million. Thanks to all of you for bringing it straight to my door! <gasps> Oleander. You! You took all my friends' brains. You turned an innocent fish into a giant monster. You stole all the teachers, derailing my education. And you kidnapped my girlfriend. Rasputin, this fight is too big for you. Back home, I had to clean up after the elephants, so trust me. I know how to take care of this ugly little pile of... Kids, let the grown-ups handle this. You tall people! Sasha! We get to kill him too! Uh, well, it's official. The genius is back. Time to go get ready for my gallery show. Uh-oh, this looks bad. <laughs> ah, well, that's good. Someone must have turned off the gas long ago. Oh, here's what my poor flowers need. A little water. Oh, no, I spilled all my turpentine and acetone. Hey, Boyd! Long time no see! Oh, Mr. Orderly! <laughs> I did not see you there. I was just taking a little therapeutic walk in the moonlight. Relax, the asylum's closed. We can all go home. Leave? Here? Yeah, this place is for crazy people. And I don't know about you, but I ain't crazy no more. I have to tell you, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good. You know... Maybe it is time for us all to move on. What do you think, Boyd? You ready to blow this popsicle stand?
The milkman has completed his route. You guys want to split a cab? And the crib wasn't even that clean. I mean, what do I have to do to get those guys to take me seriously? When are you going to shut up and kiss me? Um, I can hear that. I know. Surrender never! Psychonauts have a word for people who turn on their own. Ha! I don't need the Psychonauts anymore. I'm making my own army. Got a word for that? Yeah. Gesundheit! Huh? Ah! 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 Wow. Wow. I was ready for that one. Always in such a rush, Rasputin. It takes years before you're ready for combat of that magnitude. Well, you'd be surprised, Nine. This one's been acing all my extra credit exams. I beat the coach once already, and I can do it again. Darling, that was just a remote projection of the coach. He wasn't as strong as he would be if he were to appear in the real world. TV? <laughs> TV? Where's his brain? Oh, probably stuck in one of his plans to take over the world somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Alone at last, eh, Rasputin? Glad you're finally picking on someone your own size. Yes, I've been dying for a chance to pick your brain! Two can play that game. Yeah, but only one can win! <laughs> going to do have to think <laughs> like I got a choice what's going on what's that sound oh the insane asylum just blew up but don't worry Mr. Pokelope helped me save all the brains before it fell down Mr. Pokelope 
Sam, is that you? It's me, Linda, from the lake. Linda, I haven't seen you in ages. You look so... different. Uh, yeah. I've put on a little weight. Oh, you know I don't mind that one bit. Oh, Sam, you haven't changed at all. Probably a secret, more advanced route. What's that supposed to mean? You think you're more advanced than me, new kid? Sorry, what? I'm not stupid. You're stupid. The coach is stupid. The whole camp is stupid. That thing flying at you is stupid. What's flying at me? Whoa! Bobby Zelch's foot, that's what! You stupid, new kid! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> thanks for saving me. Well, actually, I was saving this plant. Huh. Never seen one so meaty before. I have. It's been appearing in this creepy nightmare I keep having. You're having nightmares? Oh, I've been reading about how to fix those. Will you let me see one? Hmm, no. Rasputin, can you hear me? Sasha? Where am I? You are inside your own mind, but I'm not sure where. Tell me, what can you see? I see a run-down gypsy caravan. Do you recognize it? Yes. It's where I was born. I see. Compelling. Rasputin, are you okay? What do you see now? I see a small, bunny-like animal thing. Hmm. An unfamiliar animal entity in a dream often represents a primal fear or memory. Follow it and it should lead you somewhere important. Check. Okay, Mr. Bun. You and I are gonna be tight. Wherever you go, I go. Like... Two peas in a pay. Come back here. Uh, Sasha? What is it? Another bunny? No. This is more of a super scary flaming eyed demon kind of deal. Oh. Hmm. What? Okay, I'm pulling you out of there. Just give me a second. Uh, Sasha? Hold on, I'm still getting some unusual interference. It's fascinating. As if someone else... Was... Agent 9? Sorry, almost ready. Sasha! Little boy, I am sorry to say that you have a very serious mental problem. The trouble originates in this area. Here, the area that we in the medical profession like to refer to as the brain. You see, son, it's just no good. I hate to be so blunt, but you have the insanity of a manatee. I know. People are always saying that. What do you think's wrong with my brain, doctor? Well, how should I know? I'm a dentist. But here's what I do know. If a tooth is bad, you pull it. But my teeth are fine. Yep, mad brain's got to come out, boy. It's the quickest way to cure what you've got. 
Insanity of the mind! But I don't wanna... Shush, 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 shush. Now hold still. This will only hurt until your brains come flying out. Uh, uh, get back! No! Ah! Why are you screaming? All right, I remember. <laughs> oh, good boy. There's that pesky brain. Here's a tissue. Now, don't you feel better, my dear lad? TV? Of course. Right here. And this bad tooth. We'll just drop it in the old garbage chute. Now, don't you salad foods for six hours. Lily. TV. Nightmare? Or a plan? Or both? Wait a minute! Rasputin, I'm sorry. I had to abort the experiment. Something unbelievably urgent has come up and I must leave immediately. I know! You'll never believe- Hold that thought. In a rush. Official psychonaut business. Wait! So is this! Official psychonaut, eh? You forgot your- Hmm. Welcome to my mind. Huh. It's so empty. Uh, I mean... There's more here than meets the eye, but I've learned to keep it under strict control, and that's what I'm going to teach you. Control your feelings, your fears, your anger. You must learn to control them, focus them, concentrate them, and release them. As therapy? No, as firepower. Say something hideous and horrible jumps out at you. Something so disgusting that it simply must die. Ah, oh, it's so tacky. I can't look directly at it. But I control those feelings. Focus them, concentrate, and release. And the world is a better place. Your turn. Excellent. A victory for good taste. Now you must strive for precision when targeting. Say you were set upon by multiple attackers. But you need to dispense with them in a certain order. Eliminate these monsters in the proper sequence and we can move on to the next lesson. Come to Papa. Raz, what have you done? This is not control. This is chaos. I'll try to fix it. You stay here and keep the numbers under control. Young 
young man. I hope you have learned a lesson here today. Yes, I have. That shooting things is fun and useful. No, that once you lose control of your own mind, it's very hard to get it back. Yes, one's thoughts must be 100% controlled at all times. Well, no. Actually, if you try to completely suppress your undesirable feelings, they'll build and build and eventually explode. Oh, so, uh... What would happen if you were to, say, completely block off all your sensor outlets? Well, there would be a build-up of sensor energy within that would, uh, eventually... Run, Rasputin, very fast. You are my own creation! I command you to stop! Rasputin, it's time to earn your merit badge! and no one gets hurt, fish. Man, it's gonna be hard to find a new place to give you lumps. Human child. <laughs> Who is that? It is I, the creature whose spirit was once, um, <clears throat> over here. Behind you. Yes. Oh. The creature whose spirit was once enslaved by the Evil One. You have unchained my soul. And now I shall repay you, powerful human child. Oh, uh, great. Well, okay, show me what you did to my friend Lily. By the drowned spirit of Oblongata, it is done. <laughs> Top of the morning to you, ma'am. And good day to you, Officer Lungfish. How are you today? Oh, damp and happy, can't complain. And what are you and the wee one up to on this lovely day? Oh, just obeying the law as always. All posted directives followed to the letter. Ah, good to hear. Not a one of us want any trouble, that's for sure. Ah! Oh, Gagalo! Gagalore! Down here! Excuse me. Were you talking to me? Ah, ow! My ears! I'm sorry. Ah, oh my god! Ah. Are you okay? He's dead. Oh geez, I'm sorry. Don't worry. Every member of the Resistance is prepared to die fighting the tyranny of Kochamara. What's Kochamara? He's a giant monster like you, Gagalore. He brainwashed and enslaved almost everyone in Lungfishopolis! That stinks. So hey, have you seen any other humans around here? I'm looking for a girl called Lily. 
The government archives might have some information about your young girlfriend, Gogolor. Yeah, I don't know if she's really my girlfriend. I mean, I think she... I only meant that she is your friend who was a girl, Gogolor. To access the archives, we must first destroy the broadcast tower Kochamara uses to control the populace. Check. I'll go smash that then. Wait, Gogolor! In order to reach the tower, you'll need to pass through that wall of lasers. But you'll never make it through the lasers without our help. So are you gonna start helping soon? First, I need you to do something for the Resistance. Punch a hole in that prison and free my comrades! Freedom! 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 hoo Now, how about getting me past those gates? Right. We stole the shield power module from Coach Amara. It's too big for any of us to operate, but it should work for you. Hey, is this gonna upset Kochamra and all your little brainwashed neighbors? No! I doubt it. Uh, no, no. So, knocking down the prison and then breaking this laser shield thing? Nobody's gonna get mad about that and start shooting at me. No! Uh, maybe one guy would. But what is even an entire navy of lungfish against the might and revolutionary zeal of Gogalore? Wait. What navy? Meet us at the dam, Gogalore. For freedom! Hey, everyone! Here comes Kochamara! control of this freaky toad. I don't need him to nab children for me anymore. I've got the brain of a little girl back in my lab that's strong enough to power a whole army of psychoblaster death tanks. Huh? <laughs> what? You've got the brain of a little girl? <laughs> I said, in my lab! I think you've got the muscles of a little girl, too. <laughs> Good one. for your rainbow treats. We knew you would. Won't you join us in our rainbow squirt pledge of purpose? To promote niceness. To make the world prettier. To share candy with everyone. To obfuscate the true nature of the milkman. To protect the milkman at all costs. All who would harm the milk or threaten that and threaten to reveal the sacred objective. Go, girl! Protect the milk! I know! Do not follow them! The milk is not ready, and you are not ready for the milk!
you not to follow. Now you must die! But that is the way of the Rainbow Squirt! What have you done? He wakes! I am the milkman. My milk is delicious. I am the milkman. My milk is delicious. Special delivery today. I am the milkman. My milk is delicious. Boyd? Are you okay? Time for the final delivery to this address. Hey, is that milk regular kind? Or the exploding dream kind? It's fortified with what the world wants. What the world deserves. Are you sure you don't want to just talk about this, Boyd? It's an impressive house of cards you're building there. And still, not high enough to reach the sky and free her from her prison. Who is she? I only know that she is beautiful. Perfect. And sad. All day she cries rose petal tears. And I can do nothing to help her because my creation lacks something. And it will not stand against the bull. What bull? El Odio. Somewhere along the way, I feel that I lost something important, but I do not know. I think it's your queens. You want me to go look for them? Bring me any cards you find. I must complete this tower. Yes. <laughs> I knew you would save me someday. He just won't let me go. Tell me, how did you kill him? Kill who? El Odio. <laughs> I didn't. Edgar? Where am I? Thank you for preparing the bull, my humble picador. I shall now finish this beast off easily. Edgar, listen. There is no Elodio, no Lampita, no Dingo. What? You can't let the Junior Varsity Pep Squad ruin your life. Um, what's up with the Junior? Yeah, we were full on varsity. <laughs> Give me a G! G! Give me an O! o. Give me a B. They B. stole Give me my a happiness! Give me an L. My life! Give me an the o. state L. semi-finals! Everything! <laughs> he never learns. <laughs> it's all right. It's okay. We'll win the game some other day. <laughs> uh, please. Edgar, look at them. They're too pathetic to hurt you anymore. Can't you just let it go? 
How embarrassing. I can't believe I was hung up for so long over these losers. Um, uh, I, I always loved you more? Look alive, people! Bonita Soleil is about to take the stage! Flower girls, in position one. And action! Tonight, I will be playing the part of Gloria Von Guten, the famous actress! In this nostalgic memory of her breakthrough role in the smash hit musical... Sunshine Shenanigans! Without her muse, her inner sunshine, the spirit of her youth. Play tonight once again by Lolita Soleil. Oh, I do so hope that my mother is proud of me. Not again. <gasps> the Phantom. I've seen some bad plays in my day, but this one's an actual menace! And it's all her fault. It's her bad acting that makes the Phantom strike. <laughs> this time, I'm going to file a formal complaint and get this theater shut down. Great. Well, I'm off to go kill myself. You know, you could be a more constructive critic. Kid, if you want to see a good play, come talk to me. I've got a script here that'll knock them dead, I promise. Okay, Phantom, it's time to find out who you really are. What? Totally guessed that. Uh-uh, you said it was Becky. Okay, the jig is up, Phantom. What? Why, I never. How dare you accuse me of being the rugged and romantic scoundrel that has thrilled and terrified audiences for years. Yeah, I guess you're right. He's so agile and limber and thin. He could never be you. Why, you... Of course it's me! Well, it's time to hang up the cape, Tubbs, because your days of terrorizing the theater as the Phantom are over. Maybe as the Phantom, but he's nothing compared to the full, destructive force of an angry critic! <laughs> hmm, how can I say this and still sound cool? Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me? Oh, you've got 
fat arms, you hear me? Big fat arms like a wrestler. And a little tacky double hanging from your neck. Ugh, your knees are ugly. And you snort when you laugh.